Everyone has packed up and left the Bonneville Salt Flats after the sudden cancellation of Speed Week, but flooding from the rain meant that some of their stuff had to be left behind. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher shows us what cleanup crews face today and what's still out there in the water. This is the last of what's left from what was going to be Speed Week, and you can see why, because their racetrack turned into a lake. Flocking to the salt flats. A lot of interesting people. We, we, we get them from all over the world. Visitors this week are usually here for speed instead of salt. Mike Jones all right. and his dog Cowboy greet every person who shows up to Speed Week. Their job the last couple days. We were all set, good to go. All courses were set. All Everything was just ready. Has been to make sure people get out. A lot of people were kind of stunned when they learned what was going on, figuring out their plans. Rainstorms forced the Southern California Timing Association to cancel Speed Week 2022, with anywhere from a couple inches to over a foot of water covering the race courses. By Tuesday, everyone made it out, but from Chopper 5, we could see they couldn't take everything with them. You can see porta potties left behind, along with debris like coolers, awnings, tarps, a generator, and dumpsters. Two trucks trudge through water out to the area with crews wading through muck to clean out the porta potties. The whole ordeal, a huge disappointment for an event that hasn't been the same since before COVID. Um, and we were really looking forward to a, a normal year out here. However, Mother Nature had different plans. So here we are again. With Mike and Cowboy, the last to leave. Get ready to throw in the towel and go home. They know they'll be back to the Bonneville Salt Flats. It's just a great time. It's sad. It's sad that it was washed away from us this year, but you know, we'll live to do it another day. Hi, Cowboy. Mike says there are actually a couple of other events that are coming up that are supposed to be out here at the Salt Flats, but they'll have to see what conditions are like. Lauren Steinbrecher, KSL 5 News.